move here, and this is, I guess, the opening video of this. Whether I use any of it, we'll, we'll see. I'm not sure. Um, it's got tape on the sides, as most do. That one's kind of lifted up, so I don't need to cut that, at least. Oh, I need to rip that. Okay. I kind of did already read this out when I uh, did the opening video of the uh, Spellbinders haul, but it comes, I'll show you as I pick it up, shall I? So here is the two in one, or in one, however you want to pronounce it. Barrel is easy on the hands and easy to change out tips. These are the tips. The very nice thick plastic Ziploc bag here. And there's two hoopy things. <laughs> Short and long hoop tools. That I used with the foam molding mat to shape and add striations to individual petals of the flowers. We got three styluses, which is a 2mm, 5mm, and 8mm. Those, of course, are for adding dimension to the petals and cupping the flower layers. We got a leaf tool, which is this one. <laughs> that is to uh, create realistic veins and stem lines. The leaves, petals, and stems. I think I said them all. Okay, so um, I'll just put the medium and the leaf tool. This is a little sharp, but they are blunt. So from what I gather from watching um WJ's crafting corners, you just pull it down, you just slip it in, okay. and some metal shavings coming out of there. Anyway, you can push it down, however far you want. Don't worry, some things are coming up. No idea why. Anyway, so yeah. And you can open it to, I guess, put in a couple. It's got two things there, so maybe. For instance, I guess. One leaf thing here. I mean, that's not a leaf thing. Well, two. Let's put the two styluses in there. They only fit the two, won't fit all. But I just had a look when one was thing, and it looks like. This plastic bag has a hole in it. Well, that's not good, is it? Well, I can use some cellar tape or something to tape it together because no point having a hole inside of. Well, that's not good considering, you know, what I. Pay for all this, you should at least have a 
bag that works. Okay, um, so that will fit. Okay, so next up, we've got scissors. Fairly, uh, sharp scissors, because it comes with a plastic Smooth thing. It's okay, I guess. Sharp tips allow for detail cutting, and the finger holes are generous to use comfortably. I mean, I've had more comfortable scissors, but they're okay. I mean, it fit to the thumb and two fingers. Or like this, but I mean, I fit to this way, or if you turn around, so it's the same size. No, it's okay. Uh, next up, we've got these. Tweezer, reverse tweezers, and I'm not sure if they're supposed to be able to come out. Okay, they had a that is a sharp tip. Little plastic guard again. Reverse tweezers. These are very stiff. Though I don't know why. On the inside, I don't know if you can really see. But that one. They're not complete circles. They got some. It's missing because one of them, I, as you maybe saw, when I took it up, when I tried to pick it up, this bit, the long one of the size, was flapping in the wind. So that technically is not good. And here are the detail scissor tweezers, which are basically the normal tweezers. Which, yep, sharp tip, kind of like a bent nose, allows for easy pickup and placement of small uh, pieces, as well as folding die cut petals and leaves. So that's that one, which technically I do have something similar. This is not branded on the side, but I do have these ones, which we will feel them. This is more, maybe, thicker? Or sturdier? I don't know. And this one I had in my uh, resin kit. So I can put that back over by my resin stuff, now that I've got a replacement. And, we've got this is the, uh, Susan Tierney Cockburn logo. This is a carry case, a zip bag complete with Susan's Ladybug logo. We'll hold all the tool all of the tools in one place. So as we go let's uh Place them all in. To remember to take that. Okay. 
I can recycle this. Oops. Hit my, my glasses with that. Okay, so. Here we have, let's see. This is the non-stick sheet. This is a clean sheet. It is just... Oops, I knocked my... Okay. Um, just the right size for coloring in die cuts and adding adhesive. So I guess... Technically... I could just use my glassware. So this is... Not really needed. So that's the non stick sheet. Next up, very thick kind of cardboard. This is the leaf tool to write stem lines and veins on bottoms. Stem lines and veins on leaves. Can't read. So that's the leaf tool. And this is very thick foam. Which is the foam molding net. Provides just the right amount of gold to use with the specialty tips to make realistic flowers. So, whether I have uh, next a uh, something to uh, demonstrate with. In the next two parts, I don't know. If not, this will be the only part. Uh, I don't feel like making any flowers at this minute, so I might not have anything to do. Has a nice boop, boop loop, or whatever you want to call it, right here, so you can hang it up if you had somewhere to hang it on a hook or something, or easy to pull from a place. So if you had it over there, you can just pull it towards you. So that is everything in here. I don't know if the leaf tool can also be a sort of pogey tool. Depends how big the, uh, the, what's, it, the uh, what's it called, the die holes are. But I could finally have a place to put my pokey tool. I don't want to get a big one, you know? Because these Crafter Companion ones are kind of real pokey, you know? And like, I want to, maybe the uh, Tonic Studios retractable one? But like, Put that in there. Oh, what else I put in there? Hmm. This. It's not uh, full or anything, I don't think. I can put this unused. Precision tip bottle in there. I think I can always use this as a puppy tool as well. The yeah, little needle that goes on top. Mm, what else would I put in here? Maybe a pen. I do have. This. This kind of resembles one of the uh, stylus tips. These are very like teeny tiny and also tiny. Got it in there too. So, thank you for watching. And over now.